Hey again, Kiana, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing my May to Yar. I have five books here. I'm a bunch of these are all like really these are I think this is like the first time I've done a TBR that they're all like brand new books. So spoiler alert for my April book haul. So one of the first books I want to read is a new graphic novel. Not graphic novel. Magna. I got um introduced to because of booktube book talk and bookstagram and that is spy families volume one by tatsua endo and in this one we follow master spy twilight is unparalleled when it comes to going undercover on dangerous missions for the betterment of the world but when he receives the ultimate assignment to get married and have a kid he may finally be in over his head now once to depend on others twilight has his work cut out for him for procuring both a wife and a child for his mission to infiltrate an elite private school what he doesn't know is that his wife uh he's chosen is an assassin and the child he's adopted is a telepath so yeah this is very popular like i said on booktube bookstagram and book talk and i'm very excited i bought the first three so hopefully i enjoy it because i bought the first three I then want to read Homebody by Ruby Kapoor. This is one of her poetry collections and I absolutely loved her first two, um, The Sun and Her Flower and something else. And it just says on the back, after feeling dis uh, disconnected for so long, my mind and my body are finally coming back to each other. And it's broken down, I believe, into five sections. Four, Mind, Heart, Rest, and Awake. So yeah. I loved her first two poetry collections and I'm looking very forward to reading this one. I then want to read, since I love the first and the second book, um, Crazy Stupid Romance by Lisa K. Adams. This is the third book and I believe a five book series. So in this one we follow Alexis Carlisle um, and her cat ca um, cafe Tobians have shot to fame after she came forward as a victim of a uh, celebrity chef sexual harassment when a new customer approaches to confide in her. The last thing Alexis suspects is the woman to claim their sisters. Unsure what to do, Alexis turns to the only man she trusts her best friend Noah Logan. Computer ge genius Noah left his rebellious teenage hacker past behind to become a computer science expert. Now he only uses his old skills for the right cause, but Noah got a secret. He's madly in love with Alexis. When she asks for his help, he wondered if the timing will ever be right to confess his crush. Noah's pal in the Bromance Book Club are more than willing to share the beloved manuals to help him go from bud to boyfriend. But he must decide if telling the truth is worth risking the best friendship he's ever had. Um, so we got introduced to both characters in the second book, so you do have to read it in chronological order. Absolutely love the first and second book. I will link my first book review up on the eye, and I will be recording another book review for the second book, Undercover Bromance, very soon. But I'm very excited for this. The next book I plan on reading, which will be an, a reading blog, um, is This May End Badly by Samantha Markham. This is one of my anticipated releases for 2022. I will also link that on the eye. And in this one, we follow um, prank mastermind Doe and her monthly band of Western girls are determined to win the century-long war against their rival Winfield Academy before the clock ticks down on their senior year. But when their headmistress announces that the Winston will merge with Winfield the following year, their longtime feud spirals into chaos. To protect the school that has been her safe haven since her parents' divorce, um, Doe puts together a plan to prove once and for all that all Winfield boys and Winfield girls just don't mix, starting by aiming directly at three when phil's boy king and her nemesis in a desperate move to win she strikes a uh, deal with three's cousin wells if he pretends to date her to get under three's skin she'll help wells get back to the family heirloom that right really blocks him as a prank escalates so do doe's feelings for her fake boyfriend and she spends lie after lie to keep up her end of the deal but when a teacher long suspects of inappropriate behavior messes with the younger western girl doe has to decide what's more important beating her rivals or joining forces to protect something for her more critical than a prank war legacy so again i'm very excited this is going to be a reading vlog titled i'm um, reading a five star prediction because i do believe that this will be a five star so be on the lookout for that and then the last book i plan on reading and honestly i didn't even know that this was coming out is arusha and the nectar of immortality the fifth and final book in the arusha series because it's the fifth book i can only tell you about the first one so in the first one we meet a girl arusha and she is known as a pathological liar she lies about everything so when her friends come over um during thanksgiving break to her mom's atlanta um museum she knocks something over and wakes up the sleeper which i believe this is part of hindu 
mythology. She ends up finding that she is the reincarnated spirit of a Pandava brother and she has to find her other Pandava brothers in order to save the world and stop the sleeper from doing something he has always promised to do and why they put him in the lamp which is to destroy the world. I absolutely loved books one through four. This is one of my favorite middle grade series and I cannot believe we are saying goodbye to Arusha in this one. I could be wrong and we're not saying goodbye and there could be a sixth book coming out but I believe this is the fifth and final one. So I am very excited and I also just love this freaking cover. I think this is my favorite out of all of them. So yeah, those are the five books I plan on reading this month. Um, I'll be leaving here two videos you guys should go check out. I try to hard to post twice to three times a week. And hopefully I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye guys!